welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. Hello, everybody. I'm Rhonda Lonner. And I'm Chuck Alicious, Chuck Williams. And joining us today, we talk about scouting, one of the programs. That, uh, uh, you know, there's so much for kids to do today, but this is one that, that gives them so much and gives them so much uh, things to handle, some of the things they have to put up with in today's world. Uh, Mr. Lobes is here to talk about some exciting things going on with your local council of scouting, the Golden Spread. How are you doing today, sir? Good to see you. Doing great, Dave. How are you doing? Doing good, doing good. Go right ahead, Chuck. You know, one of the things I needed or would like to know, why the name change from regular Boy Scouts? Why the recent name change? Well, first, good morning, Chuck. It's good to see you, as usual. Um, so the, the name change was really about inclusion. Uh, a poll was done recently, and 90% of the families that were polled didn't know that they could put their daughters in scouts. Uh, a lot of folks didn't even know that their moms could participate in scouts. Uh, if you think about like the old Lassie classic, uh, Timmy's mom was a den mom, right? So mm -hmm. women have always been involved in scouting in some way. Uh, at the unit level, uh, scout, girls have been in scouts since 1969 through our Explorer post. In fact, one of my coworkers, Gemma, uh, is a former Explorer and, and her son is an Eagle Scout. Uh, but what we saw back then was that a lot of times girls were allowed to come along. Uh, they hiked every mile their brothers hiked. They did every Pinewood Derby their brothers did. They tied every knot. But at the end, the boys got to put Eagle Scout on their resume and the girls got nothing. And so when you think about what the American family has become, uh, there's no longer, you know, dad working and mom staying at home cooking and cleaning. It's not like that anymore. Nobody has time these days to be going here and taking kids there. And so the part of the idea is that scouting is a one-stop shop. You could take your whole family there because scouting is a uh, family activity and we want to see more families participate. Uh, and something that I'm personally very proud of is that uh, when we started allowing girls as full-fledged members, uh, two years later, one of uh, the girls from Amarillo was part of the inaugural Eagle Scout class, uh, Ainsley Mason. And then we had a few more follows since then. Uh, I, I tell you, we see the, uh, we get to get the advantage of the inviters to the Good Scout luncheon mm -hmm. every year. And over the past couple of years, uh, those young ladies have really, really picked up the mantle. And like I said, they've been there the whole time. Uh, we just didn't think about it in that respect. Right. Uh, but, the uh, presenting of the colors the last couple of years were uh, some young ladies in a certain troop that did did an outstanding job of that. And uh, it, it's just, it makes sense. It makes good sense. My mom was a den leader uh, back when I was a kid. When he said that Billy, a good friend of mine, his mother was initially the den leader after the uh, original gentleman, his, him and his family moved away. So they've been involved since day one. They oh, really have. Mm -hmm. So it just really kind of kind of just drives the point home that if this is a, everybody can benefit from the great things scouts do. You know, Dave, if we just look at history, uh, you know, the, the American education system, at, at one point, uh, some of the, 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 the forefathers and, and, and folks that came along later figured out that women were educating the children and that women should actually be allowed to get educated themselves. So this is just another step in, in modernizing ourselves. Uh, so that we make sure everybody gets included and we have every opportunity presented to every individual uh, with the best trained leaders uh, and exciting programs. We have lots of great programs coming up here at Scouts. So with all that being said, remind our listeners of what are some reasons that you would want your son and now or your daughter to be a part of this program? What, what are the benefits for the children? Uh, you know, scouting offers a lot of great programs that are fun. Definitely, we, we do that, you know. Uh, but we also offer things like first aid, uh, mm -hmm. duty to God, things that help build life skills. And, and I love telling the story of uh, uh, Raylene Prather from Troop 89, who uh, during the floods last year, you know, we had all that crazy rain go on and, and there's flooding and work. He and his cousin uh, decided to go for a walk they decided to uh, to cross a, a, a flooded area over a branch and uh, somehow she fell into the water and 
the thing he says is that when he went in to talk to his parents about it, he said, Dad, the training just kicked in. What I learned in Scouts, it just, it just kicked in. And what he did is he laid down and made himself an anchor, and, and uh, he was able to allow her to use his body as, as something where she could climb out of the water and thus saved her life. Uh, so aside from having fun, we do teach our kids life-saving skills and skills to manage their own lives. Scouting really, the overall purpose really is to teach the kids about how to manage themselves, uh, about how to give duty to, their, to God and to their country and service to others. Uh, uh, Mr. Lopez, let's talk about, you had mentioned the great programs available. And, and some people, sometimes we, we get in our mind, well, school's out, so scouting's over. But you guys have a real great list of things for kids to get into this summer. Go, go over a few of some of those great things. Uh, well, so we have, uh, in July, we have our Cub Scout Adventure Camp out coming up. Uh, that's a great program that the kids get to do an array of activities. The BB guns, slingshots are always kind of the, the go-to. And there's going to be other uh, things going on. So like last year, we built a kitty car wash. That was pretty fun. Uh, and we just had Cub Scout Day Camp this weekend. And uh, there was a, a water obstacle course. So the kids got to run a little obstacle course and get wet. And of course, it was a hot day. So that was pretty fun. Uh, of course, we do, you know, like the Pinewood Derby, the Space Derby, those sorts of things, the mm -hmm. Fishing Derby. Uh, we've got National Youth Leadership Training coming up. Again, more life skills type things. Uh, and, you know, it, everything you think about with these programs, this is a family activity. So we encourage adults to participate with their kids. You know, I was just oh, sorry about that, David. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You go right ahead. I was just wondering, is this... Is this name change, is this, or this whole way of thinking, is this going to affect the traditional Girl Scouts, you think? Well, you know, there, there are 14 million youth in this country that need service. Right. And th there's, there's enough of them to go around, right? In terms of what they do in Girl Scouts, it's, it's a, a program that is very similar to ours. Uh, but what we find a lot of the girls say is that they actually want to camp in tents and they want to learn some of those outdoor schools skills. Uh, and, and I don't know if they're getting that in that program anymore, um, which could be a reason why we're getting so many of those girls coming over to Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. 